From my room next to my bathroom in my basement, this is my worst holiday! A podcast about your worst wedding, funeral, bachelor party, bachelorette party, or whether it's funny after the fact, we want to hear it. And today we have two very special guests, Kendrick, Reagan, and John Horsley, two comic writers. Gentlemen, say hello! Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that energy. So much this energy. This is actually the second time that I've had these guys on. They were like one of my first guests when I first started out years ago, six years ago, I believe, is what we decided on 2017. That's when Jay Roach here. was your, 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 he was your, uh, yeah, Jay Roach was my sidekick. He was my, he was uh, your Andy. Yeah, he, he was, was your my, Andy Richter. He was my brother in arms. We were gonna call it a brother in arms. He was he was my equal, I feel. You know, I, I I'm not gonna kick him down to you know sidekick like he deserved <laughs> or, I mean like he that he was. Uh, a nice guy, nice fella, really good. Just got married, has a bird now, so he he's does. still all right. <laughs> you did just get married. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he misses me at all. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up he ended up driving down through my hometown which is like two hours south of here and me uh -huh. one of the biggest fucking dorks uh that we ever went to school with and this guy doesn't even live there anymore he's lived out in california for fucking years and he's like hey this guy says hello and i'm like how the fuck did you meet him <laughs> <laughs> they just happened to meet up like yeah like well uh jay delivers uh medical equipment i guess it's to uh this fellow's house Oh, That's God. hilarious. Mm. But like, they hadn't met before. They just kind of started talking and knew. No, never met before. I'm like, like out of all the fucking people, this guy doesn't even live where I used to live anymore. He hasn't that lived there in like thirty years. He hasn't lived there. Oh, dude, Jay runs into him. Like that reminds me. One time, uh, I'm, I was uh, having cigars and drinks at a casino, and mm -hmm. this, I was, I was pretty lit. Apparently, I become fucking charming when i've been drinking way too much because <laughs> i got home and i had two I phone I numbers am. i had two phone numbers from girls i had no idea that i how i got two phone numbers and i don't ever get numbers ever and i met this girl and she's a talk and then she called me like a couple weeks later we go out on one date right and yeah. i wasn't really i wasn't really feeling it you know three years later I'm coming home from Chicago. I sit down on, on the plane to, to come back to Seattle. And who comes onto the plane and sits right next to me? No shit. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> she was that's like, hilarious. you never called. I'm like, great. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's how they fell in love. <laughs> that's how it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen her since. What's your, 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 your pickup line? Uh, I write comics. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i chase him away <laughs> yeah. that's how you stay alone hey, that's how i stay alone level just increase in this room or what ladies <laughs> that's terrible yeah, yeah terrible, exactly. terrible but not untrue yeah <laughs> 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 but not untrue. <laughs> oh, so pictures that, and words. Of, that's actually part of a stand-up bit that I'm that I'm gonna do. I bought these fucking uh, these glasses. You know, have you been on YouTube? It's like stop before you buy another pair of designer glasses. Look at what's taking the world by storm, and they they adjust like the lenses <laughs> adjust in and out. You know. And that's like, like, that's no, like part of a bit like did the moisture level just increase in here or what <laughs> <laughs> actually these these glasses work so good you can actually see how little pussy you're gonna get <laughs> <laughs> oh my god are you uh you still selling i am now i work for a uh a bug control company hmm yeah. So no the more cars. <laughs> huh? No more cars. No more cars. Fuck, I hated that. I hated Did that. You, so everybody oh, I meet that, that. that sells cars ends up hating it. And they, oh. you know, no matter what they do, like my buddy Mike went from selling Subarus and now he's like selling food to grocery stores and he's just so much more happier. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. There's nothing yeah. like having a great week and doing really good and getting your ass chewed for it. it that's just the fucking best. And then oh, they yeah. fired they fired poor fucking Jay. They just fired him. 
<laughs> Bye. Didn't, didn't like his didn't like his tattoos. <laughs> right. uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, he says he's at work right now, so he can't. Oh, who's who's calling? Somebody's. It's not me. I'm not calling. I promise. Uh, it's Jay. It's Jay. Call it's Jay. Oh no, it's, it's my friend Tina. <laughs> You ain't got no friends. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta answer her back real quick. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> Give me a second. I'll be right back. This makes for great uh, entertainment. Is when I click great out. TV here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're still live, Kimmy. Let's win the show. Let's do, do it. it. Hey. Welcome hey, back to my uh, worst holiday. Well, she, she's very lovely. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind having her on. She's gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> I, was say, uh, I had another bit line. Oh, oh yeah. So one guy that they fired there, and this guy killed me. Uh, you know, because everybody. Uh, oh, anyway, uh, he was just awful, and and they fired him. And so my other buddy calls him up and says, "Look at the. You ever seen uh, uh what was a Billy Crystal?" Uh, you know, whether ranchers and stuff like that, you, you get a, you get a do over, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get a do over. So he's giving him this pep talk. He's like, he's like, what'd you want to be when you was a kid, man? Like, what'd you really want to be? And he goes, I wanted to be a car salesman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dare to dream, you know. Dare to dream. You know what? There's times that I wanted to be a car salesman simply because my dad did it on the weekends. No, I never like wanted his, that. Nope. That was his side hustle. He just loved being around cars, and that just gave him the opportunity. And he worked at a, a small used car lot, so it was nothing. And they just let him have a different car, like once a month, he'd have a different car. Look at this guy. Oh, uh, look who it is. <laughs> This is like old school. This is old school MWH right here. Yeah, yeah, look at him. Bring on the dick jokes. All we need is well, we already we need a shitty audio on Facebook. <laughs> shitty Facebook audio, we're golden. Yeah, shitty Facebook audio, we'd be good to go. <laughs> look, look how skinny these guys are now. Oh yeah, the only fat one left. No. <laughs> I was well, just telling him what a dynamic car salesman you were. Oh. Uh. I don't miss that job one bit. <laughs> and, uh, you loved and your it. Incredible luck to meet Daryl McCormick. Did, did I ever tell you guys how I got fired? No. Nope. They made me come in on a fucking Saturday morning and, and sit through a meeting and get yelled at, and then they fired me after the meeting. <laughs> I'm not saying you guys could have texted me Friday night so I could have slept late. Right? That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I was more bummed. Oh, we There's missed all that of it. Facebook audio. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There's that Facebook. Yeah. No. They just were so <laughs> upset. They wanted the opportunity to yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> you go out on a high. You know, it's like, but what? We can't let him go without chewing his ass at least one more time. <laughs> We can see Jay trying to figure out his audio. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, Sean Bratton from the Simply Cynical podcast is watching. Timothy Goins, he's a great guitarist. He's watching us. So, nice. 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 Yeah, we got, we've, we've got fans. At, at least two. So, uh, at least two. Yeah. At least two. You can see plural. <laughs> <laughs> see, I have fans. Does so tell us everything is going like tell us everything is going on with you guys like uh, what's your what's your book Doctor Dread is watching holy shit Doctor Dread welcome to the show I need to have you on the show sometime I hope you enjoy it who's Doctor Dread uh, he likes to, he does uh, like old scary movies and stuff like that he he talks about them and stuff he's he's pretty awesome that's a great name yeah that's a great Dredd. name I like the moniker. <laughs> yeah we you, you know we still have our podcast though we don't do it nearly as often as we used to um mm -hmm. we we kind of had this trajectory when we started that kind of went like this and, and it I really remember got, the name of the podcast what's the name of your podcast it was called it's called spoiler country 
spoiler country that's right yeah and it got to a point where we had um oh man we we had like four different interviewers we had three or four or five different people that were writing articles on our website we had about a we were averaging about 150,000 unique um individuals going to our website plus really? we're averaging in the thousands for our podcast and we went from me and johnny just kind of having fun with it like once a week to it was like every literally it was every day and it was um sorry work is never over uh, <laughs> it went Get from off the fucking phone kendrick Exactly. That's we, the second we, phone call we've had during this show. Yeah. Uh, so unprofessional. So that. unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, I'm so disappointed in you. Although, but we, uh, although I was very close to answering Tina Lee. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we well, just see, I can work. talk to these two fucking dorks or her. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I would hang I, up and talk to her. <laughs> yeah, I would. I too, so too. <laughs> no, but we, we, the podcast just got overwhelming. Right. Yeah. It, and it right. got to a point where we just had too much going on and Johnny and I have full-time jobs and we work enough to where it was like monetization wasn't our initial goal. And right. then when we thought let's monetize this and then it just became a job, not the, what we wanted it to be, which was fun. And we just like, you know what? Let's just back off. <laughs> if I could turn and, this into a job, I would just, uh, you know, uh, not have a job anymore. Uh, yeah, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could, if we could turn into a job that paid all our bills, then yeah, sure. Yeah. But it has oh, yeah, to be, sure. it it have to be enough, right? It have yeah. to be that, what that, we make at that, least. That little, that little hill you got to get over. That balance. Yeah. Like, Fuck, yeah. You know, I can't really give this up and give up my day job. Yeah. Exactly. So, and here, and here's are, the deal. It was we're interviewing, we're talking to people like Thomas Jane and Tommy Chong, and we had all these amazing people on. We talked to Robert Wool all these actors and, and people right. and have tons of different artists and writers and everything. And it just, you know, you just get to the point you're like, well, I want to do that. I want to write and create. And then we're just talking to people that are doing it and we're not, we're doing it in a way that's on the podcast, but it's not the Robert same. Robert and publicist told me to go fuck myself. So I said, really? <laughs> I guess I'll go fuck myself then. It's yeah. Him and I got along really well. That was, that was a good interview, <laughs> but we just, you know, we just got kind of got burnt out. Johnny was like doing a lot on the back end. Yeah. And he yep. just burnt out. That's what he I hear. Burnt out. That sounds like and a gay I, reference. Yeah. Giggity. 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 And that's Giggity. how Mr. Holiday sucked his first dick. <laughs> <laughs> ah, feels good to be back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> so yeah, so we 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 took a hiatus. We took like a year long hiatus. And now we've been kind of back, but we only do it like once a month, once every other month at this point. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so in the meantime, we decided to start our own publishing company and do something different. We've always, you know, Johnny's been writing and doing, uh, you know, dick and fart jokes on his comic books for the last 20 years. Right. And, and he wrote, he's been all. working on an actual novel for the last 20 years like an actual serious novel for the last 20 years. And, and he just, just finished that up. You're releasing it now, right, John? Is that what yep. you're doing? Or? Yeah, yep. yep. It just, it's it called just came out last week. Yep, it's called Memoirs of a Suicide. And then I have my own book called Supernatural Baby Detective that I wrote and then had to start going on with the art and everything. And so we're like, fuck it. Let's put this together, package it, and start putting something out there. And we have a lot more fun doing this now than we were doing the oh, yeah. podcast. You know, what's absolutely, funny is absolutely. Uh, we, so, so it, where can we find like, like, can, where can we find supernatural baby detective and memoirs of suicide? Where we can spoilerverse.com. Spoilerverse.com. Yep. Hey, yep, I'm a story right away there. from uh, editing, getting my book edited, my comic book edited. That's awesome. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to actually see it because uh, where, where I, are I you know I'm, that day? I have one story left. It. I have it uh, about three quarters drawn. And then I got to ink it because I'm doing it all myself. I wrote, draw, it, uh, ink. Okay. Colored in. Yeah. yeah Do you have a name for it yet? What's that? Do you have a name for it yet? Yeah, I'm calling it gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, all right. Cool. Yeah, I'm going with and the name. Podcast, reference where it makes Rose, no sense. Uh, he's about ready to release his own comic book. Can't wait. Called Gasoline. Yeah, it's yeah. about how kids are assholes. Oh, all right. That makes a lot of you sense. Know. 
That's facts. Kids are facts. assholes coming from Jay Roach. <laughs> Define irony. <laughs> so, yeah. And they're evil, too. You know, the yeah. omen, it, you know, and if the omen, if the kid was 24, who gives a shit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is true. <laughs> if the kid, if the kid is 24, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> Here, take a Prozac. You'll be fine. There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, let's hit us, hit us with an a, a embarrassing life story or a funny life story. Let's, let's get this baby rolling. Who's going? I'll go. I got one right. re re recent, too. So um, we just bought a new car, right? Speaking of car salesmen, right? Um, we decided to get a, a, a Jeep Wrangler 4VE, one of the electric hybrid Jeeps. Because um, oh, okay. it's like, yeah, it's, it gets... It gets, I know. I'm in Seattle. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> but so we got a, a nice, cool red one, brand new, and it gets good. It, all, all, it had all those rebates on it, and we end up getting a really good deal on it because, like, it's like a sixty-seven thousand dollar car. But my wife caught it on the website when they mislisted the price on it to like thirty-nine or thirty-eight. Oh god! And took a screenshot, oh, so and they aren't, and they aren't the price. They honored what was that? it. They honored it. Yeah, yeah. No shit. It was, like, yeah. where I work, we'd sell them go fuck themselves. Yeah, no, they honored it. So we went down there and did it. But it gets better because, like, the whole process is a nightmare, right? Because, like, we have to go, we go down there. It's like, it's an hour and 15 minutes away from our house up in North Seattle. Um, and uh, we had to drive up there, go spend like six hours, which I hate doing there at the dealership, sign all the fucking paperwork, go through all the things. And then we leave. And then, like, two days later, we get, we look at our Jeep on the side of the doors. It's like, like, three inch fucking scratch. That's been there for a while. I'm like, uh, no, no, no. I just put some brand new Jeeps. We called them back and like, oh, we'll fix it for you. No problem. So we took it back in, made an appointment. Uh, my wife took it back in and then she sat there for like two hours. And they're like, oh, um, our, our paint guy's out sick today. He has food poisoning. So here's a loaner car. Here's, here's a loaner car. Go home. So she's like, well, why didn't why did you make me wait for two fucking hours? So she takes the loaner car, which is a brand new, like tricked out, like full, fully loaded Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is super nice. Um, and so we, we get home and then it takes them like three or four days to get this scratch fix in the car. So we had this car for like three or four days. And then literally the night before we're supposed to take it back. They got our car fixed. We're going to go trade them back. And um, I'm taking the Jeep Grand, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the, the rental car to go pick up my daughter from her friend's house. And I go over this bridge um, like here and there's something in the road. I have no idea what the fuck it was. But I hit something in the road, and it popped both the front and the rear tire on the passenger side in the oh, rental. Oh! I mean, and when I say it popped, I mean there was like fucking two inch gashes in the tires, <laughs> and it and the the front rim was just fucking destroyed, like it was scratched up. So I drove it down like another like four hundred feet and parked in the parking lot. Um, yeah. And when I looked, and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> so then I, I I call Kaylee and my wife, and she comes and picks me up. We look, I take pictures. I get all my shit out of the car. We call the dealership and they're like, what happened? Oh shit, I thought Kaylee was driving. I didn't know you were driving. No, I was driving it. I was driving it. And uh um they're like, oh it's we'll get we figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. So the next day we drive in um in our other car to go pick up our, our Wrangler uh, that had the scratch in it and to deal with this whole thing. Well, when they gave her when we get there, okay, there's a piece of paper on the on the desk that they want us to sign. Cause when they gave her the Wrangler, they didn't have her sign a paperwork saying we accept liability at all so they gave her the keys and gave us we had no so we're like we're not signing this shit or oh, well, you should have signed it well we didn't we you did. gave us the car you have liability not us right like, oh well like oh we need, you need to put on your insurance like we're not putting on our fucking insurance no right. you didn't have you guys fucked up have fun with that and so they're all pissed <laughs> off trying to trying to get us to sign it we're like we're not signing shit dude and they're like okay what else do we need to go nothing you guys can just leave cool give us our fucking keys we're out of here Oh, I know so, a certain car dealer who would be foaming at the mouth if that oh, ever yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah, and the guy, uh -huh. the, the guy who was trying to get us to sign the paperwork, he was the one who gave her the keys, and he's like, you know, he's in fucking trouble because he didn't have her sign anything saying right. liability. Oh yeah, so it's all, it's on his, his ass. ass. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. his ass. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so Mark and and Jay, what happens in that scenario at the car dealership after they leave? Well, it means uh, that we weren't in the service department. We right. didn't give a fuck. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would talk shit about it as we sat and wondered why Garrett was getting all the customers. 
<laughs> well, we could stand outside the service department and go, dude, that sucks, you know, like that. But that's about the best we could do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. The, the best part of this whole story is, besides the fact that if they had to pay for it, I had to pay for shit. That's the only tires I've ever popped in a car. Ever. Well, the best part of the story is getting a $67,000 vehicle oh. for 30 yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty, Dude, that's that's pretty good. That's crazy. Too. <laughs> So yeah, sixty. It it was wait. It was going for sixty seven thousand, and because she took the screenshot, they had it on under the thirty eight. So it was going for like sixty six, sixty seven thousand dollars retail price for it. They had marked it down because of the rebates, because it's an electric vehicle, right? So it was down to like right. I, think, I think with rebates it was like forty eight or something like that. And then okay. on the website they marked it down. They had, they had put an extra discount on the website that they didn't mean to, and it marked it down to like thirty eight, thirty nine, somewhere in there. And it was there for like a good two or three days, and we screenshot it that because boy. we were like. Is that a ploy I, though by the car dealership saying, "Hey, we'll put it over thirty Oh, we didn't really mean to do that. Yeah. It's you know, no, no, they, they where we were, worked and fucked up and put this uh, this Denali, like this Yukon Denali, like they fucked up on the price and the phone was just blowing up. Oh, you I'm know? sure. And people go, yeah, "I'll get a lawyer," you know, like get your fucking lawyer then, you know, like <laughs> I seen it. I, I'm sure you did. We sold that. <laughs> you got to sell it to me. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, car, people are allowed to fuck up with, when they're pricing yeah. something out, right? I yeah. mean, it's like, wow, you know, what, and the thing was, well, at a price. We're, we're telling them on the phone, no, we fucked up. It's not it like, hurt uh, to ask. yeah, sure, we'll honor that, you know, and then they come in. We, we, you can't do that. But if they call up and you go, no, it's, it's, it's fucked that up. Must, yeah. They must have had a huge, they must have got that at a, at a great price, though, for them to eat that 10K and be like, oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, new cars we'll, we'll don't really make that much on. They I mean, do have yeah. back end, but not on the front end. Yeah, so. They, was they it a brand new car, Johnny, or is oh, it yeah. used? It had, rebates, it had, brand it new. had like three oh, miles brand on new. it. Brand yeah. new. Like three some miles course, on it. Yeah. They gave some poor sucker a Pawn Star deal on their uh, on their used car, and then they sold it, bought it for 1000 and then sold it for 15 And then you go, then they go to Florida and play golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah. I got oh my, Ford. my god. I got my Ford because uh it was a stick shift and uh just like give it to him it costs just get that piece of shit off the lot. <laughs> yeah. The best anti just want it out of there. The best anti-thievery device ever made is a stick shift. Oh, you know I just, I just got rid of my Ford a couple did months you really? ago. I did. I traded it in for a Jeep, not electric. Cause not cause <laughs> not <I'm> electric. <laughs> I got we, me and my wife have matching cars now, nice. and uh, I don't know how I feel. Be two Jettas. What do you What do you got? Uh, Jeep Renegades. Jeep Renegades. That's a That's uh, a Ringo right. truck. Yeah, they're SUVs. They're not something special. I like them. I mean, they, they drive good. That's okay. I got a Subaru, and the girl's got a Subaru. I got a Legacy, and she's got an Ascent. The first, the, the first car that I ever bought for myself was a Subaru, and I, it was a stick shift, and I loved that thing, man. I drove it until it rusted out underneath the seat, and I didn't know you were driver. The head crack, the head cracked on it, and I got water in the engine, and it finally fucking died. But I just, I ran the hell out of that thing. Do do lesbians like Subarus? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. They wear Birkenstocks and drive Subarus in Illinois. Well, Subarus here in the Northwest are giant. I mean, they outsell Toyota here, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. The Mosaic TV is watching. So, we I don't think I ever equated it. Berkeley. We got Kenry Reagan. Uh, they're two comic writers. Uh, John has just released a novel after 20 years uh, called Memoirs of a Suicide. Memoirs of a Suicide, and Kendrick's comic book is Supernatural Baby Detective. Yes, and I guarantee okay. it's a very original story that you've never read. read. <laughs> so look up these, uh, these books. Uh, John, where, where can, uh, uh, it's uh, from SpoilerCountry.com, correct? Spoilerverse.com. Spoilerverse.com, that's right. Yep, it's right there under my name. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. If you just look yeah. at the, yeah, there it is. Look at the name tags. <laughs> <laughs> John only likes to pump his stuff, so he put memoirs of a suicide because 
He doesn't want you going to our normal site. <laughs> well, yours, yours is already there. It's already there for you. Greedy motherfucker, man. You know, he's so greedy. <laughs> greedy baby, needy baby. Right. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think yours will go to the the Kickstarter at some point, right? It'll redirect yeah. to Kickstarter. It will eventually. Right, right now, it directs to the memoirs page on on Twitterverse.com. Yeah. So what we do because uh, printing is expensive, and we can't afford to print a hundred thousand copies of a book where you get that <laughs> price breakdown. That's crazy. So we have, yeah, we print like a thousand copies of the book, but that's still like around twenty seven to three thousand dollars to print that book. And so we, what we do is we build out our, our, our books, we go all the art, all the editing, everything's done. And then when we go into Kickstarter for crowdsourcing, then all we're, we're funding or all we're trying to build back in funding is the printing costs. Um, and then hopefully more for, for whatever else, and then go towards the, the, um, publication of the next book. So it's good. Awesome. Yeah. We don't, we, we don't launch anything until it's fully done. So yeah. anytime you do a Kickstarter, it's already done, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Super cool. Awesome. All right. Henry, gear up, buddy. Hit us with a story. What do you got? Dude, I got I got stories galore. What do you what do you want to hear? You want to hear the uh, the cow pasture story or you want to hear You know what? Uh, it, it's it's dealer's choice. Whatever whatever's <laughs> funny or or uh, after the fact, you know, we want to hear it. That's uh the more well, fucked up it is, the better. Yeah, I, we well we got, I got a few. So let me think here. I, did I, there was a time when, um, well, I'll tell you one that I think I've told you before, but it's still funny. And it was <laughs> when I was 17, 18 in Bremerton, Washington, there's not a lot to do. Okay. okay. There just isn't. There's the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. And then there's Banger Base, which is a nuclear submarine base. And that's about it. That's fun. Yeah. So you get a <laughs> ton of you get a ton of Navy guys coming in and out. And um, but we just there's just not a lot to do. Like going to Seattle is one thing, but you know, you gotta take the ferry, you gotta get over there, you gotta drive around, it's a whole thing. I took a ferry so, once to prom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my prom boat. was on a boat. The <laughs> prom was a nice boat. There it is. My like, problem was on a boat too. Back. Your problem was on a boat too. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. I hate oh it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So we did a lot of mushrooms and weed and LSD growing up. And every fall is you can get what's called liberty caps. And you go to to, to get liberty caps, you would go to a farm, right, with a bunch of cows. Right. And so you got to make sure that you go to the right, the right ones that have a bunch of Liberty caps that you can pick. And so we decided me and my buddy, Dave, my buddy, James, and our infinite wisdom decided to go to a cow patch that is off of highway 303. And Johnny oh, knows well, exactly what I'm thinking of. Yes. You don't know, but you can look up the map. And because I said highway 303, you can see it. Anyways, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a golf range off of highway 303. Okay. And right next to the golf range is this uh, um, ranch. So we did, we park on the side of the freeway like idiots because we're 17. And we decided to, to, to climb down and into the cow pasture. And we're in there. It's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's cold. It's raining. It's windy. And we're, you're you know, right, but, but we're like, we're, mushroom caps, yeah, so we're determined. Okay, yes, we're right, determined. Yeah. Off in the distance. Way off in the distance is two things. One, there is a cow way out there, and it and it's just standing there. And then, then there's the barn that is way like right in front of us, but it's like two, three football fields in front of us. You know, it's All a right. huge ranch. We'll call that three hundred yards. Yeah. Okay. So, so <laughs> we're looking and we start walking and we're we're going through and we're walking and we're walking. We look over. No, what, and the cow. What, what, meters what what, what yeah. that mean? <laughs> well it what a football field is how many feet 300 feet so 300 feet a meter is 3.3 feet per meter so all right, all right. I, I, you could right, divide that in I, I didn't mean to get that <laughs> it's about 90 meters so right. that's that's about 270 meters 
I love, I love the math. I love the if math. you don't want to answer, if you don't want to answer, don't ask the question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know the thing is, it's pretty accurate. That was on me. Yeah, that's on me, man. I so we're it looking rhetorical, but suck my dick. It's a... <laughs> so we're walking in, and we're we're in the cow pasture at this time, right? And we're and yeah. we're looking for and we're looking for mushrooms, and we're not finding any mushrooms. Well, in the middle of the cow pasture is a gully, and around the gully is an, is a fence to keep the cows from going into the gully. And it's just one small wire. Okay. <laughs> it's rainy. It's cold. I look at the, the, at the thing and, and we're both like me and my buddy, James just kind of hop over and it's in a gully. So it's going down. So you, when you hop over, you kind of hit the ledge and right. you know, we kind of stumble a little bit, but we catch ourselves, you know, there's like yeah. a little bit of a water on the bottom because it's raining really bad. We get over my buddy, Dave kind of does that. You know, when you have your thing and you kind of just like saunter over. Yeah. And he does it. And he get, yeah. He steps over and he gets it. And, but he falls and he falls down and he's like, oh, we get up the other side. The other side's a little bit more difficult because now you're jumping up and over. Right. 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 Cause you're going uphill. And okay. so I kind of just jumped over and kind of just stumbled over it, but I made it. James did the same thing. Dave in. Fucking idiot decides to do the same thing and he gets over. So now, but he gets one leg over and he's stuck and he's stuck like like this. Like, yeah, he's straddling the fence. And that he's wire is right the there. Electric fence. Yeah, he's straddling the fence and the wire, the wind picks up and that wire starts hitting it one leg and it's going back and forth. And he's like, oh, and you can hear it going zip, 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 zip. You know, it's cracking. And he's like, get me off of this thing. And she's just like dying. I can't even touch him. I start laughing. James is laughing. We're crying. I'm like yeah. literally start to cry because I can't stop laughing. And J and Dave just finally falls backwards into the thing. <laughs> and and then I'm like, and he's like done. Now he's wet and he's he's angry and he's pissed off because he just got the shit shocked out of him. And we don't have any mushrooms. And then finally, okay, we don't have any mushrooms. My yeah. body's electrocuted and on the ground. Yeah. And we still By don't this have time, any mushroom gaps. He's he's so fucking mad that he just he finally he just bellies it under the fence because he's already wet. You know, we get up on the other side and we're looking around for like another hour. And in the distance is that stupid fucking cow coming forward. But now we can see it. It's not a cow. It's a full on bull. Oh. And it is not very happy with us. You know what I mean? Because we're in its territory. I and mean, he has no idea who we are and nothing. And we're like, oh, shit. I'm going to. I'm. Yeah, we're going to go back. You know, and we're yeah. like, halfway, and we're slowly walking back. But of course, this goalie is a good 90 meters. Okay, right. it's it's a it's a pretty <laughs> long gully. Yep, and so I I just jumped over. I I because at some point we start going and the thing is walking faster. It's not running, but it's definitely in direction of us, right? So I just jump the fence and I roll down, and right. James does the same thing, and Dave decides to do the same now fucking thing again. Where he again, goes over, over and fence. again, he gets stuck, and he's like, da, 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 and he's just dying, and so now he just does it again. He just falls forward, and he's finally, but he got totally electrocuted, and we got through, and yeah, that, that bull started mooing, like it was pissed, <laughs> and we were like, oh shit, we got out, and, and um, we get we got out of the fucking cow pasture, we get back in our car, and as James pulls out into traffic and goes, a cop pulls right by us. And we were like, oh, oh. my God, if we were five minutes longer, he would have saw us with our, because we were stupid as all get out. We had our flashlights right, you know right. I mean? right next to a four lane stoned. freeway. Yeah. Doing all our things. It's like, oh my Very God. And this is like stone teenagers. Yes. This cool. is 1992, 1991. So <laughs> highly illegal doing whatever. Right. Oh yeah. And to be caught, thank goodness you didn't catch any, you didn't get any mushrooms, and then yeah. you fucking caught with them. Yeah, but yeah, we didn't have any. Yeah, luckily we, we didn't. Get the other day, officer, you know, the, I've gone uh, mushroom picking. From, uh, Mosaic TV and the Uncourt Show is watching us. Uh, she nice. says uh, one of you got to pretend to eat grass; the other one better brace themselves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my friend, my one of my besties, Amy Minky, is watching. Amy, how you doing, baby? Uh, nice. Fred Carroll from Within the Head of Fred and uh, Dude in the Head House. Uh, he's within got a new the head of head Fred. Yeah. Uh, it's going it's really. Good it reminds me. Do you remember that TV show on Fox that yes. was in the head? Yeah. I can't oh. remember the name of the of the show, but it Herman's had head. Herman's Head. 
Oh my God. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. What is in the head of Fred? What is that about? Is that just uh, his he nickname? He interviewed people and he was, uh, but now he's doing more of the uh, dude in the hen house. It's uh, uh, but him and uh, him and other ladies talking about different subjects and things. It's very cool. Uh, I love the name in the head of Fred. That's a great, that's a great name. Yeah. Yeah. He was, uh, he, he's been on my show. Uh, he was on my show once. Uh, need to get him back on. Need to get you back. Need to get you and your new partner back on, on, on here too. Uh, what? So. You give us an embarrassing, embarrassing story because every time I'm on, oh. I'm hearing everybody else tell me embarrassing yeah. things. I, I want to know what the fuck There's a good reason you. for that, Kendrick. There's a very good reason for that. Uh, you got nothing. My fucking show. <laughs> uh, so that, that's, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been, Poised with that question before, and it's still the same one. I'm sure you have. Fuck you! It's my show. It's a, this is on you, man. It's a, I, didn't, I didn't call you on to have me tell stories. You know, it's like. Uh, but I want to know what happened you know, to you. My job is to sit here and fuck with you while you tell yours. That's my job. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. So, so far the. Uh, the formula has worked so far. So, uh, <laughs> have you ever tried LSD or mushrooms or anything? No, I never have. No, one time I, we, uh, me and my buddy Dave, the one that got stuck on the electric fence, and we had a buddy named Guy, and we're on the we're on the uh, Kingston uh, beach. Tell you all, Brandy. So, and it's a <laughs> and it's a sandy beach out of Kingston, Washington, and. It's like one o'clock in the morning. It's super dark out. It's kind of winterish, you know. And uh, <laughs> we're sitting there. We're we're super high, yeah. And we're having we're having a good time. And we're <laughs> we're walking down. And we the water's on our right. There there's a beachhead, and there's a bunch of trees. And we're looking, and there's something doing this within the trees. All right. And Dave's Instead like listening. He's making a flapping noise with his arms. Yes. Like a bird. Right. Like and a bird. Dave is looking at it. He's like, dude, that's a bat. I'm like huh? what? He's like, that's a bat. It's going. He's just, that's and then we're just looking at it and we're right. like, and, and then I'm looking at it. And I'm like, Whoa, what is that? That does look like a bat. So now you're on LSD at this point. You're, you're, yes. you're on acid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, Guy comes up and he looks at it and he's like, "That's not a bat." And then he's looking at it, he's like, "Whoa, that I think that is a bat." And it's just it's like floating in the air, just like in, not not flying around, just stagnant in the like air. Hovering. Yeah, like hovering. And I'm like, "What bat just I, hovers?" I think bats hover. Yeah, bats yeah. don't hover. Yeah, not that I'm aware of. Anyway, uh, the bat wing the, hovers. The most hovering mammal. The bat. The, ba the bat wing. Not a lot yeah. of hovering mammals. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a it's not a helicopter. <laughs> we're looking at this thing. I shit you not. We're looking at it for like it felt like thirty minutes. It might have been thirty seconds, 30 seconds because yeah, of what we're on. Thirty seconds, yeah. Yeah, but it felt like forever. And finally, guy goes, "I'm gonna get it." We're like, <laughs> "No, dude." He's like, "I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna grab it." And it was like, no, like, you could get rabies like Cujo, dude. Don't do that. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> and we're thinking, I'm like. Me and Dave are both like, oh, I, I don't even, I want to walk away from this thing because it's too weird. And, and guy runs over there and all of a sudden he starts laughing and we walk over. It's a fucking birthday balloon that somebody left there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. It was like, it was a black happy birthday. It must have been like somebody's 50th or something because it was like a, a black defense, happy birthday. In your defense, it was a Batman balloon. Uh, yeah, so, it was a Batman yeah. balloon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, I, I, though. I don't know. I don't know if this will translate, um, because I, I can do an echo voice. Okay. And I was working at a grocery store back in my hometown of Cuba, and this guy comes in, and, and I worked in the deli, and he came in, he's ordering the sandwich, and I knew, I knew by looking at him, he was tripping balls. Right. Huge pupils. Go, oh yeah. And I go. Hey, hey, duck, 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 duck. How you doing, dude, man, 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 man? You okay? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's, that's awesome. Hard. He, he backs <laughs> up. He just backs up. He goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, 
man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, ah! And he just and he and he leaves. He just he just turns around. And he leaves. He comes back in like three hours later. I go, hey Doug, where you been? He goes, outside. I go, what are you doing outside? He goes, I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God! <laughs> okay, happy fuckers. There's a story. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. There you go. <laughs> uh, I get it. No. I oh my you God! Said pretty please. I got no. You fuckers didn't do that either. So. Uh, <laughs> pretty pretty. I guess it did translate over the. I, I was it, worried it the did. echo didn't wouldn't work, but oh, it worked. It worked. It's not. <laughs> Made me laugh. Oh, oh man. my god, this dog! <laughs> Fucking with people is my favorite thing. Oh yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, I've been working on like I haven't been on I haven't been on stage in um like twenty three years or so. Uh, oh. but, uh, uh May tenth, I'm gonna be back on stage. So I'm actually I'm actually writing stand up again for the first time. So, oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah I got the they got they've got somebody actually it's somebody from like uh, up around Washington way. Uh, Jeremiah, oh, yeah. um, what the fuck is his name? Uh, I can't remember right now. I had him on my show, uh, but he's going to be down here. He's fr- I had friends that moved from your area down here. They opened up a bar down oh, here. Oh, cool. The, yeah. And uh, they asked me to host and uh, do some stand up. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Sure. I'll, I'll open up. Are you going to you know? record? Uh, yeah, it's going to go live on Mosaic, on Mosaic TV. Nice. So, oh, cool. Yeah, I can set up something else to do, maybe some recording. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't put too much thought into it other than just like, you know, doing bits. You know, like uh, I want to watch it. Like uh uh, you know, I, I once slept with um two girls named Rachel. Uh that made me buy Rachel. Um <laughs> <laughs> I slept with two girls named Chandra. That, that was a double on Chandra. Uh, and uh I slept with two girls named Lisa. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <shit. laughs> Mic drop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, fellas, it's going on 45 minutes. And because I'm on the TV show now, I keep it right around 45 minutes for, in, for you know, commercials and shit or whatever uh, but you guys got the floor again tell us everything about you tell us where we can find all your all your stuff you, you guys are great I, I i thank you so much for coming back on i'm going to say that again before we wrap up but uh you've got the floor can we go, go first Jenny? do you we want first, me to go first yeah yeah all right guys my name is kenrick yeah, that up there. I think he's a, a. I think he's above me, or you below. I'm above. Oh, he's oh, above, above you. You're, you're below me. Yeah, yeah. So, Back up there. Hi, that is Johnny Horsley. <laughs> we are the purveyors God. of Spoilerverse Publishing. Um, you can find amazing titles like Spoiler, um, Supernatural Baby Detective, or Memoirs of a Suicide, or um, Oh my God, Jonely Nonely and have a lot of fun checking them out. I guarantee the stories that we have and the work that we do, you have not seen anywhere else. It's all wholly original stuff, and it's a lot of good stuff. We have a lot of great artists, great editing, great covers, just a lot of fun. So check us out at spoilerverse.com and keep an eye out for those Kickstarters. I'm sorry, guys. People just aren't into original uh, stuff. So anyway. (laughs) Fuck, that's the problem. It's not mainstream. Why the fuck isn't it mainstream? <laughs> ah! Oh man, <laughs> I'm not mainstream either. Uh, I got a Joker yeah. J gave me behind me, but that's a, that's, that's pretty cool that. though. Yeah. No, but I you're mean, by Rachel. <laughs> you're by Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a double. Yeah, it might be a double on Chandra. Uh, so, <laughs> boom. Boom. I haven't about olive oil yet. I don't know <laughs> about the glasses. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you can find oh, me at uh, the My Worst Holiday Podcast on YouTube. But the big thing is you can find me on Mosaic TV, baby. Mosaic TV. Go to mosaictv.com and check us out. There's so much original content that you're going to find on there. You're going to find us 
Hey! Um, and as always, if you like a if you like a show, give some money. Mine is my my worst holiday at uh, Patreon.com. If you like a show, give us a dollar. You fucking cheap bastards, one fucking dollar. Give John a dollar. Give Kendrick a dollar. Give us all a fucking dollar, you fuckers. You you do it in the grocery grocery line, which gives kickbacks to the fucking grocery monopolies. Give me a fucking dollar. So that is that. <laughs> From a room next to my bedroom in my basement hangout, guys. This has been my worst holiday. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.